We gotta make this the best product. Wait, we're on? We're, like, right? Welcome to the 2020 World Championships of Rock, Paper, Scissors. Here I am, your host, Jim, the Paper Cut. Jim, former World Rock, Paper, Scissors champion. And today, boy, do I have a match for you. We have two opponents that are going to face off for the world championship. Let's introduce them now. I'm gonna be the referee today. We're looking for a fair match. No funny business around here. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, so we're gonna be playing rock, paper, scissors. Let's get going. Our two contestants are here. And now, there's only one thing left to do. Rock, paper. Scissors. Let's go. I had only learned probability. So the game of rock, paper, scissors is probably a game that you've played a lot, but you probably haven't really thought about the math behind it too much, and there is a lot of math involved. So let's say for a second that we have two players. We have player one, um, and we have player two. Now remember that a game of rock, paper, scissors involves two people. Now. If we have two players, um, let's look at all the possible things that can happen. Um, it is possible, go back here, it is possible that in a game of rock, paper, scissors that you win. It is possible that in a game of rock, paper, scissors that you tie. And it is possible that in a game of rock, paper, scissors that you lose. Now, if we're looking at a player one and a player two, let's assume you're a player one. Um, we have three ways that you can, let's first look at the ties. Um, we could have player one has rock, player two has rock. Um, player one could have paper, player two could have paper. Um, player one could have scissors, player two could have scissors. So there are exactly three ways that you could tie in a game of rock, paper, scissors. Now, if we look at ways you could win, player one could have rock, player two could have scissors, rock beat scissors. Um, player one could have scissors, player two could have paper, scissors cut paper. Um, third way, we could have player one could have paper, player two could have rock. So there are exactly three ways that you could win in a game of rock, paper, scissors. And lastly, if we look at a loss, um, again, player one and player two, we could say player one could have scissors, player two could have rock. That would be a loss for you. Um, player one could have paper. Player two could have scissors. That would be a loss for you again. And player one can have rock. And player two could have paper. Again, that would be a loss. And there are then three ways that you could lose. So all in all, we have three ways to win, three ways to tie, and three ways to lose. Um, so if we look at that all together, three plus three plus three, that comes up with a grand total of nine. We call these outcomes. Um, these are possibilities. These are possible things that could happen in a game of rock, paper, scissors. So nine possible 
outcomes. Now, when we're thinking about wins, ties, and uh, losses, um, we know then that exactly, let's type this up here, three out of nine would be a win. Three games out of nine, you should win. Um, three games out of nine, you should tie. And three games out of nine, you should lose. Um, on average, probability says this should happen. Now, three-ninths, uh, remember, is the same, which is red, as one-third. Um, so three-ninths is equivalent to one-third. So there's a one-third chance of all of these things happening, either a win, a tie, or a um, loss. So we got to look at all the possible outcomes when we play a game of rock, paper, scissors. Now, one nice thing about rock, paper, scissors is we can kind of use this probability to potentially win a game um, by guessing what somebody is going to throw. For example, let's say, and uh, let's go back to this page. Let's say we have a player one and a player two, and in the first game, uh, the first player throws rock, and the second player throws uh, rock. To your advantage, you might say, if you're player one, that it's not very likely that player two would throw rock again. Um, so you're going to guess at that point that player two is either going to choose scissors or paper. By using that logic, you could then say, well, what would be scissors or paper? Well, if I, have, if I think player two is going to throw scissors or paper, it's to my best advantage with probability to choose scissors because at worst, player two also chooses scissors and then it is a tie. Um, and at best, player two chooses paper and it is a win for player one. So we can kind of use probability and this, uh, this likelihood of things happening to help us. So uh, what I want you to remember is there are nine different outcomes in a game of rock, paper, scissors, and there is exactly a three-ninths chance of a win, tie, or a loss, or that is the same as one-third. Um, so give that a try and look at all those different probabilities um, to see what are the chances of outcomes in a game of rock, paper, scissors.